Holland from PV Bicycle Center, and we're looking at the 2012 Specialized Vita. This is a women's hybrid road bike. We previously talked about the Cirrus, the men's version of this. Uh, the purpose of this bike is very similar. It's a road hybrid or a flat bar road bike, sometimes called a uh, bike that's really easy to ride, easy to get into, um, nice comfortable ride, relatively fast, geared for a wide variety of conditions, uh, very comfortable to ride. This year, special attention has been paid to two things. There are two models of the Vita women's bike. This is a step through frame, so it's got a very low stand over height. If someone has trouble getting on over a bike, or they have concerns about being able to get a bike off the bike quickly when they come to a stop, the step through bike gives them that security, gives them the confidence to ride the bike. Um, then there is a standard Vita with a straight top tube. It still has a lower standover than the men's bike. Um, other thing about the Vita this year, aside from some tube shaping updates and lightweight, we've got a new saddle on it. Um, great attention paid to the graphics on these bikes now. So you can see the color coordination of the bike itself. We've got the uh, magenta hand grips, matching stripes on the frame matching seat post collar uh, and then Specialized makes a line of accessories now that match their bike. So here we've got a seat bag that matches. Uh, later in the year they'll be matching gloves, matching jerseys, matching shorts. So great color coordination with this bike. A nice riding bike, very smooth, lightweight, versatile tires, the Nimbus tires like we talked about before on the Cirrus. Step through design. So this bike has a 24-speed drivetrain. 24 speeds can seem intimidating to someone who hasn't ridden a bike in a while, but there's some definite advantages to it. And if you look at the very highest gear here, it's called the lowest gear, although it's the largest in the back. This is a gear that would get you up just about any hill. It's a very low, low gear. Um, and then at the other end of the range, we go down, we've got three chain rings. So we can get a gear high enough to go just about as fast as you'd want to go on a bike like this. In addition, the shifting itself is very easy. These are called rapid fire shifters. They're rapid fire because it's an instant shift. And you can shift and brake without ever having to move your hand. Basically, your hand rests on this ergonomic hand grip. You've got two or three fingers on the brake lever. You've got your thumb on one of the shifter levers and your forefinger on the other shifter lever. So it's a push-pull action. Pushing that pulls the chain, gives you an easier gear in the rear. Pulling that releases the cable, gives you a, a harder gear, faster gear in the rear, and it's the opposite in the front. But very easy shifting. So in addition to the step-through design, which makes it easy to get on and off the bike, you've got a lot of gears, um, very easy to use. Good brakes, we've got modified cantilever brakes that are sometimes called V-brakes. Um, they don't stick out the way the old cantilever brakes do so they can't catch on things, but they're very efficient. They don't take much force to stop the bike. Easy to maintain. They stay clean. All in all, a safe, comfortable bike that you can ride as fast as you want or as long as you want.